What's up, everybody? Welcome to Buzzworthy TV. I'm your girl, Lady T, and tonight we are talking Keisha Cole's All In. So let's get into it. So the episode picks back up with Nephi and Keisha talking. You know, like I said last time, Keisha decided to meet back up with Nephi since the last time they met, they didn't get anything really resolved. So, basically, the second meeting, they ain't getting nothing resolved either. Keisha just feels like, you know, Nephi likes to come for her. And like she said on Twitter and all on social media, just saying stuff. And like Keisha said, she said, you know, last time you did that and supposedly your publicist did it or whoever. She was like, I went home and cried. And I was just like, aw. And then, you know, Nephi's thing is, I just want to work it out. I came here trying to find a way where I can reconcile with my sister. And Keisha basically ain't having it. Her thing is like this. I'm tired of crying. I'm tired of hurting. And I can't even focus on what's going on in my life because of all this stuff. And it goes back to what I was saying before about how, you know, Keisha has been through a lot. She really looks out for people and she wears her she wears her heart on her sleeve and when she feels like you know the trust is broken and people are being disloyal, she puts her guard up. So no matter how hard you may try or how sincere you may be, she just can't do it because she's put herself out there so much. It's like a defense mechanism. And Nephi asked her basically, how can we fix this? She was like, you know, I came near the other day trying to fix things and I asked you, did you love me? And you couldn't even give me an answer. And basically Keisha's like this. Look, at this point, I don't even want to work it out. I'm just through with it because it's just too much. And, you know, Nephi, she wants to work it out, but she like, you know, hopefully one day we can get to a place where we can work it out and we can be sisters. And Keisha's just like, maybe, but basically just keep my name out your mouth. That's all I want from you right now. Because right now there is no moving forward, but... What you can do is keep your name out. Keep my name out your mouth. And basically, I hated that. I hated that them two as sisters couldn't resolve it. Because look, when I tell you, I got three amazing sisters. And we go through our stuff, but I could not imagine. I could not imagine my life without them. Like, we are so close. And is our relationship perfect? No. But at the end of the day, it's all about family. And I just really hope that they can find a way, you know, to get past this. Because obviously some things were said, some things were done. And I have, you know, I know it had to be hurtful. And like I said, Keisha, she may come off all tough and hard. But you can tell that it bothers her when people do stuff to her or... You know, when she feels like she's being betrayed. And rightfully so. But like I said, even more so for her because, you know, she gives you her all. And when it becomes something, when it turns into something else, like betrayal or you, you talking shit about her, she just phases you out. Because she don't know any other way. And I don't blame her. I really don't, in a sense, because... When you give your all to somebody and they basically crap on you, you build up that defense mechanism. And I'm like I said, it just isn't Nephi who's done that. She feels like a lot of people that she's loved and trusted has did her wrong. So now all she can do is just look out for self and essentially just have this hard demeanor. So after that. We got Keisha, Marquisha, and Yvonne Cole.
they are all sitting down eating and stuff. And basically, Keisha is feeling, you know, a little down and a little worried because Marquisha's pregnant. And, you know, that's her assistant. She was like, you know, pretty soon, Marquisha ain't gonna be able to work for me. And I'm gonna need a new assistant. And, like, she was telling her mama, she was like, look. She was like, and then I need somebody to help me with DJ. And her mom was like, well, I thought I was helping you with that. She was like, you are, but you're not doing as much as I need you to do because you need to be more active. I've been telling you, you need to go exercise so you can be more active with DJ. And her mom was just basically saying, look, I'm getting older. I can't do all that running around like I used to, you know, like I did with, shoot, with when you were younger. Shoot, even... When I had other grandkids years, you know, a few years ago, I'm just getting older. I'm tired. And I kind of felt bad because I know how it is. Like her and Marquisha are very close and Marquisha has her back. And it's a lot of changes going on. You know, her and Daniel, they going through a divorce. They separated or whatever. You know, she's not on the best of terms with her family. And so... It's a whole lot of chaos. And so I really do feel bad. But anyway, she she kind of looks on the bright side. She like, it's cool. She was like, so basically I'm just going to have to look for a new assistant and look for a nanny. <laughs> you know. And basically that's what it boils down to. Then we have Keisha and Gib. They um at Keisha's house because they're about to interview nannies. And before the nannies get there, you know, she thanks him for coming over and she tells him that DJ's been acting out a little bit. And he said he sees that a little bit when he's with him as well. And Daniel's suggestion is that they do more things as a family so he can see that they're a united front. And Keisha agrees with him on that. She was like, I absolutely think that's a good idea because... You know, if he sees that unity, he'll know that he has mommy and daddy no matter what. And I totally agree with that coming from, like, I'm a product of divorce. And one thing I always credited both my parents for is for being a grown man and a grown woman. Were they perfect? No. Were there issues? Yes. Did I bear witness to some of those issues? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, they were able to keep their focus on it's all about me and my sister. Like even when they were getting into arguments, my mama would never keep us away from her, keep us away from our daddy. And shoot, after a while, there wasn't nothing to argue about because you know time heals all wounds. They actually really good friends now. Like they cool, and I love it. I love the fact. Even I'm grown, even though I'm grown as hell, y'all. <laughs> I do love the fact that I don't have to be put in a position as a child to feel like, oh, I got to choose. Like, if I get married, I don't want it to be, you no. Know, ooh, it's going to be a whole lot of tension. I love that. And I love, because you know how kids feel like they got to choose. And even as an adult, when your parents don't get along, you get right back to feeling like a child. Like, you got to choose when it's important events in your life. So, yeah, it's very important for the parents, even if they don't get along, to be cordial. Because at the end of the day, you want what's best for your child. And so I'm glad that they gone to try to put their differences aside and try, you know, to be there for DJ and focus on him. So, then we got Marquisha... And Keisha, they are going to see, excuse me, they are actually going to see, Marqu they're going to actually Marquisha's, um, woo, God, excuse me. They're actually going to Marquisha's ultrasound, which is so cute because they bring DJ along and they bring Keisha's uh, adopted mama, Yvonne Cole. And they all in the room. And they see that it's a girl. And you know, Keisha's all excited. She's so ready to, you know, buy all this little girl stuff. And before they went to the doctor's office, 
Keisha was like, yeah, you know, when you had a baby, you can come stay with me. I got you. And I'm like, see, that's what I love about Keisha. Keisha's all about family. And that's why I understand a lot of times when she lashes out. Because really, when you put your heart and soul in the people and when you give people like your all and you feel like they being ungrateful or you feel like they shitting on you, it's so easy to lash out. So I get it. And I think this is a lot that is going on. Like I said, Keisha's been hurt a lot. It's like everywhere she turn, she get people hurting her. So I kind of get it. I just wish she could work through it because at the end of the day, you want your family around. You don't want to end up by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like with the whole Nephi thing. Do I think Nephi is genuine? I think so. Do I think she's innocent? No. I think she regrets what she did, but I don't think she's innocent. So it wouldn't hurt Keisha to meet her halfway, you know, because... At the end of the day, they sisters. And so, you know, they go to the... So her and Marquisha, they at the ultrasound. And like I said, it's a girl. And it's just, like I said, it's just really cool to see how she loved her cousin. Because, like, I'm really close with my cousins, too. So I know how it is. I was with my cousin when she went to her ultrasound. And I was just like, oh, and that was the first ultrasound I've ever been to. So, yeah, it's so cool to see that. And even though you got to, like, kind of make out the parts of the body when you look at the ultrasound, it's still so amazing to see. It's like the, it really is a miracle. They don't call it the miracle of life for nothing. So, anyway, then we got Keisha and give they take in DJ to karate. You know, they on this thing where they're gonna start doing a few more things together. And it was just so cool just them being a united front. And I really wish that they could somehow work it out. But I get it. Gib has problems with women. He loves women. He has a problem. And um Keisha you know, she has trust issues with that, and rightfully so, because he can't stop. Like she said, okay, I forgave you the first time. I even forgave you the second time. But when you do it the third time, that's just something that you ain't going to stop. That's a pattern. So I can't mess with that. And I definitely get that. So, and it's it's so hard to keep turning the other cheek. You only got two cheeks, you know. So I kind of get it. And I'm not saying Keisha is innocent either because, you know, she's not the best communicator. Like, we saw that on their reality show. We we saw that again earlier today. Well, not earlier today, but earlier in the episode with her and Nephi. She's not the best communicator in expressing her feelings because she keeps them bottled up. So, I just wish that they could somehow get to a place where she could open up more and he could realize and see where his need to always mess with different women come from. Because if they could do that, then I think they could work it out because it, the, the love is definitely there. I'm not going to be like the people who told her on the first episode, well, you know he love you and you can't fall him because he don't love you the way you want him to love you. It's like, wait a minute, do not make her feel bad because she feel like she deserves somebody that will love her enough to be faithful to her. I didn't like that. That was some bullshit. And I'm working on not cussing so much on this camera, but I'm just saying that was some bullshit. She deserves a man that's going to be devoted to her, going to be faithful to her, and she going to be his only one and he going to be her only one. Everybody deserves that. Everybody. So, for them to say that is wrong. Now, do I believe that if he gets help and really work on himself and work on his thing where he always got to, you know, screw different women? And if she work on, you know, a lot of her issues and work on opening up more, 
maybe shoot maybe a couple years down the line they could get back together because i do see the love but not before they do some serious work i'm not with that bullshit of, oh well you know every man cheat like she's just supposed to go running back because every man supposedly cheats number one every man don't cheat and number two that's weak that's whack she deserves better than that so yeah she shouldn't just go back to them back to him but yeah the love is definitely there and I do think if they both take some time apart and work on themselves, then they probably could make it work later on down the line. But anyway, y'all, that was the episode. It wasn't much. It was kind of cute, but it wasn't really much. Until next time, y'all. Peace and love.